UK new Home Secretary announces new measures to boost Britain's border security. Those caught working illegally and eligible for removal will be detained pending. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fajira. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy to have you in our beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate. God bless you. If you're new to this channel, I create content on how you can migrate to the UK just with visa sponsorship in the UK, UK immigration updates, which I'm about to share one right now. So if you're someone who is interested in such content, do hit on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. As you can see on my screen, Home Secretary announces new measures to strengthen border security, enforce immigration rules and increase returns. Now, enforce immigration rules, like we know, the previous government that left they actually made so many rules that are still in place and also the new government now they're also trying to make sure that they keep to most of the things that the previous government have said regarding immigration and also to increase returns like to deport a lot of illegal migrants from the uk you can see on my screen new measures to boost britain's border security are being set out today 21st of august by the home secretary including the immediate recruitment of up to 100 new specialist intelligence and investigations officers at the national crime agency nca to target dismantle and disrupt organized immigration crime network Vertikopa has also today announced a major surge in immigration enforcement and returns activity to make sure that immigration and asylum rules are respected and enforced saying that the government has new plans for the next six months to achieve the highest rate of removal of those with no right to work here, including field asylum seekers for five years since 2018. Now, we know that if you have stayed in the UK beyond when you were supposed to stay, is either you are an overstayer or you have become illegal. One of the things the new Home Secretary is looking at is to make sure that such people are removed from the UK and deported to their countries in addition a new intelligence driven illegal working program will be ruled out to target investigate and take down unscrupulous employers who illegally employ those with no rights to work here once your visa is expired if you came on the study visa if you came on the visiting visa of course you're not allowed to work or if you're on a cos and they the company's license has been revoked. You have been given 60 days to look for another organization and you're able to do that, you become illegal. So now, if you're working in any organization, you have to be very careful because from what they have said, that they are looking for a way to remove such people from the UK. The new measures are fulfilling on the government's commitment to provide long-term security to our borders. They include 200 new specialist intelligence and investigations officers deployed to the National Crime Agency, which is the NCA, to disrupt and smash criminal smuggling guns and prevent dangerous boats crossing. Now, a large surge in enforcement and returns flights with the aim of putting removers at their highest level since 2018, reversing the damage drop in enforcement over recent years increased detention capacity including 290 added beds at camps field and hustler immigration remover so once they pick up such people from the organizations they are working provided they are working illegally they take them to the deportation camp just as you can say they have they have increased the number of beds and the more they bring them, the more they deport them as well. So redeployment of staff to drive this increase in returns and sanctions to be taken against unscrupulous employers who hire workers illegally. So if you are currently in the UK illegally, like i would always said, you should seek a solicitor's advice to see the best option you can take to, to retain your stay in the UK. Otherwise, if you go to an organization to work and it happens to be on the day that the enforcement officers will visit such organizations and that is, will definitely be the end of your stay in the UK. This comes on top of the 50% uplift in the number of NCA officers sanctioned in Europol. These officers have been immediately 
deployed to support European operations to disrupt the activity of criminals smuggling guns, making millions out of small boats crossing. Recently, I think I was reading an article, and one of the people that crossed to enter the UK said he paid five thousand pounds to be able to be on that boat to move to the UK. So it's not like they are actually just moving for free. You need to pay the guns money to be able to cross to the UK. The NCA currently has around seventy investigations targeting the highest harm criminal networks involving people smuggling and trafficking and worked with international partners to support the seizure of around 400 boats and engines intended for use in channel crossing a range of sanctions including financial penalty notice business closure orders and potential prosecution will be taken against those employing illegal workers those caught working illegally and eligible for removal will be detained pending their swift to removal so like i said if you're working in an organization if you came on a visiting visa and you did not go back and your visa has run out and you're working in any organization these are the new plans that the new home secretary has made so just in case you get visited then you know that the end part of it is for you to be removed from the uk alongside this the government is increasing detention spaces to support the highest space of removers including reopening and adding 290 beds across immigration removal centers like we all know that the deportation flights leaves on daily basis like on daily basis they deport people to different countries like the countries they have come from so just as you can see this increase will ensure there is additional capacity to facilitate higher levels of enforcement and returns so that the rules are properly respected building on a nine successful return flight in the last six weeks including the largest ever shattered return flight the government is redeploying personnel and resources to support further activity as i said they want to keep removing people that are illegal in the uk staff are being redeployed to increase removal of failed asylum seekers which had dropped by 40 percent since 2010 300 case workers have already been reassigned to progress thousands of failed asylum and return cases including enforced and voluntary return so there are a few people that have heard of though i haven't seen anyone but i've heard that they voluntarily just go back because the frustration is too much once you live in a, in a country that you're unable to like walk the way you're supposed to work or you're working and your mind is not at peace a lot of people turn themselves up for deportation Enhanced digital capacity will be deployed to ensure consistent contact throughout, preventing those with no rights to be here from disappearing into exploitation, illegal working, and ensure they can be returned. So these are all the plans that the new Home Secretary have got to remove illegal migrants from the UK. This enforcement surge overseen by Baz Javed, the Home Office Director General for Immigration Enforcement, is part of the government's plans to transform the asylum system and secure UK border. This will ensure that all immigration enforcement processes are implemented firmly, fairly and accurately throughout, whilst also taking account of the important lessons learned from Windrush. The Home Secretary Yvette Coppa said, we are taking strong and clear steps both our border security and ensure the rules are respected and enforced. Now, our new border security command is already gearing up with new staff being urgently recruited and additional staff already sanctioned across Europe, working with European enforcement agencies to find every route into smashing the criminal smuggling gangs, organizing dangerous boat crossing, which undermine our border security and putting lives at risk. And by increasing enforcement capabilities and returns, we will establish system that is better controlled and managed in place of the chaos that has belated the system for far long. So these are the plans that the new Home Secretary have got in place to ensure that they remove those who are working illegally they find those companies that have employed them and also they have employed more case workers and also more enforcement officers to make sure that they cut that net migration so i had always said that the labor party is more immigrants or immigration friendly but to be honest in as much as they're immigration or they're immigrant friendly they're also trying their best to make sure that they cut that net migration from where the tourists stopped 
so that the citizens will stop crying because that has been a major problem in the uk net migration increasing over and over i've come to think of it to be honest the uk has actually changed from what it used to be when i first came in about 13 years ago it has really changed like getting an appointment now is really difficult and if you manage to get one the follow-up and everything is really different from what it used to be so which is why the citizens are crying in as much as the previous governments have left they have come in and they have continued as well to see how they can cut down the net migration but this is not when to give up if you still want to migrate to the uk still keep applying for jobs if you see study you want to come for apply to the school get your admission come here finish your studies get your job go and bring your family because once you get a job that will pay you up to thirty eight thousand seven hundred, or as a graduate you get the graduate threshold you can be able to bring your dependents so if you know anyone who is working illegally in the uk kindly share this video with them and also like and subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family and until i see you in my next video guys do take care and have a lovely day thank you very much for watching bye bye for now